Ing, Ing, yeah, it's yeah, one of those yeah. websites. It's like oh, it's yeah. like a Molar Ram in uh, Temple of Doom. Yeah, I, I, it's probably the same guy who does Ing, our Star Citizen merchandise. Oh, <laughs> Did it come Molly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, welcome everybody to Reverse the Verse. This is Friday, January 15th, 2016. Uh, I'm your community manager, Jared Huckabee. With me, as always, is our editor, Justin Chambers, our director always. of community... I don't know if we want to promise always. Always? <laughs> I, I, I have a formula, I have a process. You have to let me go through the process. It's like Sheldon knocking on the door three times. I have to start all over again. Okay. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Reverse the Verse. It's Friday, January 15th, 2016. Now, with me, as always, is our community uh, director of community engagement, online strategy, and spaceships, Mr. Ben Lesnick. Also, Master of Disaster. I was going to say, you forgot Master of Disaster. Yeah. I didn't mean to interrupt you again. I'm Wait, sorry. start one more time. Let's get I just started. wanted the, the director of life to be added on there as an additional <laughs> comma eventually. Oh, this, this is what I have to deal with. Every start over. Start, start, over, start, start over, over. Start over. Start over. Start over. Start over. over. Hey everybody, welcome to Reverse the Verse. Uh, this is January 30, whatever it is. Is it Are we in the future? January it's in the future, whatever. yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Nobody but, has ever looked at this man and said he knows what day it is. That's true, it is <laughs> true. I, I even looked at my watch that doesn't tell date. So. <laughs> Which was really confusing because I was like, I was like, wait. Subscription manager Alexis Lesnick. And, uh, well, why don't you introduce yourself, Mr. I'm a community manager, Will, um, and I used to be here as the assistant community manager, uh, but I am now at Reload Studios working on a game called World War Tunes. Superman, that. Oh, World War Tunes. World War Tunes. World War Tunes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, Will used to be an assistant community manager for Star Citizen. He had some time today to swing on by and uh, hawk his wear. So. <laughs> in fact, he's the man who started Reverse. Yes, the, the man who created. Reverse the verse. Yeah, I, I uh, before I even started working at Star Citizen, I loved streaming. I was streaming video games and all that stuff, and I figured it would be the perfect platform for us as Star Citizen to uh, even further communicate with the community, and so we started, and it has quite evolved from everybody crowd around my desk, <laughs> look into this webcam, and uh, I think I only had one, one monitor at the time, so I had to split the <laughs> chat in half between the Twitch chat and the website chat, and good luck just getting any questions answered. Yes, so. Pretty much oh, perfect. That, that perfect. <laughs> perfect. That part has We also changed. still have microphone issues. Yes. Oh, perfect. So, like, the thought process was, man, ATV is so bad. <laughs> we should have an hour afterwards to apologize. <laughs> you know what's so funny is when I first started here, when I was watching the videos before you guys mm -hmm. hired me, I remember seeing this and I was like, what is the purpose of this show? Like, I just don't understand. <laughs> well, I'm so glad. You sound you like our that. audience. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. What is the purpose of Reverse the Verse? <laughs> well, Reverse the Verse is the Cloud Imperium Games community team's weekly informal live stream with the fans. Basically, if you're looking for information, you can tune into our Monday show, our Thursday show, our sometimes Wednesday show. But now this is where the community team kicks back, relaxes with you, and we share a little bit of our lives while we learn a little bit of your lives. And occasionally we'll have some special guests and maybe answer some questions. So, we can review. Ben, you always start us off. What did you do this week? I think the most important thing is what we all did, which is launch uh, 2.1 yesterday. Starts as an alpha 2.1. Now available on live, it's much more stable, you get more frames per second, there's uh, new ships to fly, uh, there's new missions uh, to explore, it's uh, pretty cool. Oh, it's amazing. I was in there last night for five hours after I went home, uh, just just uh, hanging around with some of our streamers, and uh, it was it's a lot of fun. It runs very well. Uh, I, I mean, there's obviously you know ways to go still. We're still building the game, but it is it is a drastic improvement from 2.0 2. on, on it's really a lot of fun as a standalone yeah, experience. It's, it's really good to see the game progressing. Beyond 2.1, what'd you do? What did I do this week? Monthly report. Well, we Why are you looking at me? It really is true. As now a married man, I know exactly what... Uh, do we have plans this weekend? Do we... Uh, you know, just always run it by the wife. <laughs> um, no, we put out the uh, monthly report on Wednesday. That's always a great resource for figuring out exactly what people in other Star Citizen places are doing. Um... Yeah, just a normal week. The big hit of the monthly report seemed to be uh, Jeremiah's new uh, marine outfit. Yes, that, that is a marine outfit for Squadron 42. And, 
it's still the concept at work. You know, it, it, once it's built out, it might it might change a little bit, but. Uh, mm-hmm. But I know we were all, we were all very I'm proud of that. Start concerned right now. Yeah, <laughs> we're, I'm ordering the changes to it as we speak. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, he, we were very excited. Uh, he did that a couple months ago, and we, we finally got the approval <clears throat> to show that. So that was really cool to show. Uh, monthly report two point one. Um, that's pretty much that. Pretty much kind of consumed our entire week, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's the, was that everything that consumed his entire week? I believe so. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> that cool, sounds cool. correct. All right. I, I, I bought a lot of bunch of dumb stuff on eBay. There's like oh, five there we go. That's that. Right. That's, that's what I want to hear one about. One yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. yeah. Like, Forget about. So many wallets. So many wallets. Yeah. Oh. Well, oh, that's Star slick. I will we, agree with I, the Amazon review. We should all compare wallets. Because mine's a proto man. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty good. This, this is brand new. It's like it's a only bifold. I always had a trifold. I'm oh, no, mine's bifold too. I'm not real comfortable yet going yeah, back yeah. to bifold. Exactly. Right, Pull out the wallets. It is I don't wallet have my time. I my wallet with me. It's my uh, purse. Mine's like aged. It's like worn and torn. Oh, well, this but that, that, that brings character. And what's. a monofold. Yeah, you have no fold. Oh, wow. No fold. It's Star Trek. Let's see it. Is it? It's, it's the Enterprise Blueprints. Oh, yeah, wow. You have a Star Trek wallet. You have a Star Wars wallet. You have a Proto Man wallet. You have, what's your sticker say? Yeah, what's what's up with the sticker? I it's from a taxi we're, 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 Yeah, we're not going to talk about oh, the sticker. <laughs> and Alexis has no wallet. My wallet's in my purse. Because <laughs> no I'm wallet. a woman. I take care of the money. <laughs> <laughs> Concerned Good job. Dread. We both, uh, yeah, I think we both handled that well. Hey, you didn't ask me what I did this week. Actually, I was about to, and then we got stuck on the wall. He was going to ask me, but then he remembered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did you do this week? There's some cool stuff here. Well, this... Is there? <laughs> <laughs> he set you up. We, yeah, yeah. So, this week we've kind of been reworking the subscriber perks. We're getting ready to launch the updated subscriber landing page, which is looking very cool. There's some new logos, and mm-hmm. we'll have a cool video, and... All that's gonna go live uh, February 1st. So we'll have a new page, we'll have new perks. We've got a new subscriber flare series starting in March. Uh, we've got subscriber flare coming out today. Tell me more about the scarf. Oh Why? yeah. It's some UEE Marine armor. Uh, it's the last piece of the Puglisi collection. Just so just this is display armor like like you'd find like a old uh, knight. Yes, oh. it's not wearable, not armor you wear. but it's still pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So that will be going out today if you're a subscriber. If you're not and you'd like that, you can pick up your subscription and it will show up on Monday or Tuesday. So that's pretty much been my week. And CS tickets, um, shout out to the Manchester crew for really powering through those tickets this week. They've been doing an amazing job. Well, in fact, we've got a new uh, CS manager out there. There's new CS team members. They have mm-hmm. cleared out the concierge queue. This is not a queue. You can start emailing them because they're working on the regular queue now. <laughs> um, but uh, making vast amounts of progress. We're going to be caught up real soon now, yeah. assuming we don't create some other crisis. That oh, that's, to be that's right. You guys just came back from Christmas break. I remember. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for you guys. We never recovered from Gamescom. Yeah, Christmas break when we hadn't recovered from CitizenCon. <laughs> CitizenCon when we hadn't recovered from Gamescom. Yeah. So it just... It just yeah, I remember that cycle. And of course, you know, we, we, we've been hiring new CS staff. Yes. But you don't just hire CS staff their first day, they sit there and they do tickets. You have to train them. Absolutely. So when you're training them, it actually slows down your ability to do tickets. So people are like, why don't you just hire new CS staff? It's like, we are hiring new CS staff, but they have to be trained. And that mm-hmm. process mm-hmm. actually slows things yeah. down before it gets better. Yeah, believe it or not, Star Citizens is not the sort of thing you come off off the street understanding and take <laughs> That is very true. Yeah, this, yeah. This, is, this is a rather dense project. Yeah, yeah. It's a rather dense project. Especially coming into it now. Oh, oh yeah. I can't imagine. Oh, yeah. I can't imagine, imagine coming in and starting CS now. I really can't. So I have to say, on the opposite side of things now, like when I worked here, it was, it was quite easy to keep up with everything. But on the outside, those who do, I am absolutely amazed how you do it. <laughs> like, truly, it is amazing how you keep up with everything. It's, it's a job. It really yeah, is. It, it is. Well, let's stop talking about ourselves and talk about Will instead. Well, oh, next on the list. yeah. Wait, hold on. You Wait, what about him? Let's, let's, let's stick. I always get left yeah, out. Yeah, let's, let's, okay. let's stick with money. But, well, you know, Sandy was overseas, so we got a lot of footage from, I'm going to make this sound really technical, but it's really not. But we got a lot of footage from overseas for ATV this week, so, you know, it was just cutting. Was, was the word footage the technical part? Because all of that made perfect sense. I mean, stopped with your legal mumbo Yeah, exactly. Jumbo. Oh, my God. Your $10 words with ATV. And... Yeah, no, uh, 
um, you know, the regular edited the episodes. We got a new um, tent for the developers coming out on Monday. You know, working hard for the mm-hmm. for Uncle Sam. So, yeah, that's it. That looks sad. What? It looks saddened did, by that. Did the technicality <laughs> confuse you? <laughs> they, Is it the word footage? <laughs> I think it was edit. So what they do is they took two pieces of footage or film, as you may know them as, smash them together, (laughs) yeah, yeah, and then edit them together. Use a a computer to smash them together. Yeah, yeah, and and then they congeal and become a longer or shorter sometimes piece of film. Well, Well, sometimes when no one's looking, I also sprinkle a little bit of dust on it. I just (laughs) throw it at the screen and... I do think that congeal is exactly the word for eight. Exactly. It, it's sort of like a hamburger you find like two hours later. And then sometimes what? really silly people make them look like oldie you know, time like videos, Mario like back in the 80s. Like yeah. There used to be this thing called a VHS tape. And what would happen is the lines would go up sometimes as you watch it. Yeah. And some people have learned to congeal that effect onto <laughs> nowadays film yeah. and, and show it off. There's so many things you can do. You it's should YouTube it. I, I know of this guy who does it. Uh, he, he works at Star Citizen now, but I, I'll, I'll introduce you guys. Yeah. Thanks for having me back. <laughs> 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 tell, tell, us about, uh, tell us about what you're doing now. Uh, so now I congeal. No. Um. <laughs> Every verb is going to be congeal from here congeal. on out. <laughs> Uh, so the game that I'm uh, the community manager for is called World War Tunes. It's a virtual reality game. Uh, it's a first-person shooter, free roaming, um, and we are coming out for the PlayStation Morph. Uh, I'm sorry, they changed the name. It's PlayStation VR and the Oculus. Uh, we're still deciding on a um, when we're going to come out with the game. The what we were saying before is basically whenever the VR headsets are coming out and. Then Oculus came out a lot sooner than we were expecting, so uh, we're we're still deciding on that. But um, we just came back from CES, checked out all the cool VR stuff there, and we are about to head to PAX South to show off the game. And we're teaming up with the XSplit guys. Uh, they have their own indie stage booth. So if you are going to PAX South and want to hang out and give me a high five or shake hands and all that stuff, stop by the XSplit indie stage, um, and we will let you try out the game, let you try out VR, which is amazing, and you know all that, all that super cool stuff. Yeah. So it's pretty cool game. We tried it at E3. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it was actually. Yeah. It, was, it took me a while to get because I, I didn't use the PlayStation uh, controllers mm-hmm. either, but. Like right towards the end of the demo, finally, like was start just starting to get yeah, used to it. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, this is actually kind of fun. This is pretty fun. So yeah. I, I imagine some some more time with it. It would actually be a lot of fun. We we actually so back when you tried it, we were using the Move controller, yes. and uh, we have gone through two controller schemes since then. Um, just because VR is such a strange beast, like we are really uh, creating new grounds with it. And luckily, we're made up of a lot of industry veterans from like Call of Duty, Disney, you know, DreamWorks, all that stuff. So we have a lot of knowledge going into it and but it's still like breaking it all back down to the very beginning because your traditional two stick shooter you know for Call of Duty makes you sick in VR because your head needs to control where you're looking it activates your inner ear otherwise you're going to get sick and and all that stuff so it's really just taking everything back way to the beginning and um, you know it just kind of you know it's wild west out there so we're just trying to think of new things uh, some people are sharing information, some people aren't, and, and you just kind of got to keep on going and, and try out new stuff, get sick, decide that doesn't work, and try out something <laughs> else. But yeah, we're doing a great job, and uh, yeah. People have been asking what you think of the $600 price tag for the Rift. I, I'm asking because I know it's a minefield, because I know... It like, really ah! is, and I, I knew coming in, I knew coming in that people were going to ask. So... I, I hope that there is a method to the madness uh, because I th- there, there's a couple of ways of looking at it is the way that I, I, I hope that the way that they're seeing it is it was kind of gating off the massive influx like maybe they knew that their their pre-orders were going to sell out immediately so they put a higher higher price tag aside from people having to wait till November to get their headset um, and I expect it to eventually come down as as technology goes on and stuff like that. I think that PlayStation is in a prime position, though. Um, I think that if they come at a much cheaper price set and then come at it with a uh, combo with the PlayStation uh, 4 with a similar price point, I think that they ha- have a really great 
opportunity to leap over Oculus. That was a test. You passed. I notice how I slowed down sometimes to, to think about some words. <laughs> the professional. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I got promoted to the community. Yeah, if I were a better person, I wouldn't have asked, but I'm not. <laughs> You're not a good person at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody's ever looked at this guy and said, that's a good person. Ben, I said he has Jesus eyes, though. Yes, mm-hmm. I've been told I have Jesus eyes <laughs> by strange crackhead mm-hmm. homeless person who attacked me in the car. Mm. <laughs> he doesn't look a thing like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that was a killer reference. To, to go back to PAX South real quick, um, I'm also meeting up with two popular Star Citizen streamers, Bad News Baron and WTF Asaurus. I, I don't know how he pronounces it, but either way, um, if you guys are going to PAX South, check them out too because they're awesome streamers and they do what you guys are into, so you should check them out. They are awesome, and in fact, you were just telling me yesterday, you, you were telling Bad News Baron that I hate him, which is not true. I he hates you so much. He mildly, mildly disdains you. Oh I, I am a Bad News Baron fan. If you congeal hatred and, and likability. It just got like 10 degrees hotter. He says your name and it just starts radiating mm-hmm. anger. He still owes me a dance-off. Now, we were talking about Bad News Baron, and this is actually pertinent to Star Citizen, folks. Bad News Baron has been chosen by Twitch to be one of their... Premier streamers, I don't know what the terminology is, but when you go to twitch.tv oh. and you see somebody who's on twitch.tv, no slash, no suffix, uh, Baron will be uh, streaming Tuesdays from 2 to 4, might be 4 to 6, it's, and I don't know if he was times. telling me, oh, I don't know if he was telling me central times <laughs> or Pacific times, but he'll be streaming Tuesday afternoons right there on twitch.tv and for every Tuesday until like the end of March, and he's chosen Star Citizen as the game that he's going to showcase when he, when he streams that. Good for so, him. Uh, so, yeah. so we, we're, we're going to hook him up with some stuff to give away to Star Citizen fans. And, uh, so be sure to check out that. Ask him what time it is because I got the day. I got the day. That's a big thing for me. Come in. Honestly, I feel like somebody's going to fall through the roof. Is it mm-hmm. just me or like... Yeah. There are workers on the roof. So as I'm we're like, doing this... We're so it very well could it. still happen. There's, there's a skylight right about I'm like this. I'm terrified from like they could literally fall through. If you think I was a surprise guest. I know. I didn't want to fall through the ceiling. <laughs> How much did CIG pay Twitch to get Bad News Baron? Uh, we didn't pay nothing. Oh, no. Uh, we're, we're, we're notoriously uh, uh, um, frugal mm-hmm. with our money. So, we didn't pay nothing. All right, it's 15 minutes after the hour, so this is the time on Reverse Diverse where we start taking questions from our studio audience. We don't have a studio we're, audience. How's Come the Banu Merchantman coming along? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you guys haven't heard that at all. I was actually at the I mean, ship scheduling meeting yesterday. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if you like, if you want the best chance of having your question recognized and possibly even answered, please preface your question with the word Question in capital mm-hmm. letters surrounded by brackets. It helps me pull it out of the den. And we'll be looking at uh, RSI general chat as well as Twitch chat. So I have a question before mm-hmm. we get um, So when I was here, we started working on VR with Star Citizen. Mm-hmm. How is that coming along? Uh, not great. No, it's... <laughs> right. Yeah, right. No, it's a terrible it, question. No, no. It, 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 Should have stuck with Banu Bergerman. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I think Chris said in an interview just recently, mm-hmm. we're, we're now making it a priority uh, going into this year, but uh, for, for the current build, it's no, no VR support. Okay. Uh, we had it in the hangar for a while, and mm-hmm. the specs just kept changing for the yeah, Oculus yeah, Rift. Absolutely. And, so. and, and we knew that, that Crytek themselves were doing VR implementation, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. It, rather than double up on the work, we wanted to wait, wait for them to finish their implementation and then see what aspects of it we could we yep. can utilize. Yep. So, and then we hired all the people who were doing it. And, and then, yeah, that, that screwed <laughs> that whole plan way Yeah, up. yeah. But uh, uh, first question, uh, Sandy said something about a January live stream. Is that still happening? No, I don't think we're going to do a uh, January live stream. We did talk about one, but uh, it feels like the... I mean, we are doing a January live stream right now, but uh, it, it feels <laughs> like when we do a big event live stream, it shouldn't just be boring it, it should have something <laughs> <laughs> no you're right it should have something tangible to it you know like you know yeah. it, when they something can't all have John Reese Davies <laughs> calling in from the New Zealand yeah. yeah yeah which was not planned by the way John Reese Davies we didn't have John Reese Davies on the docket until two hours into the live stream yeah, he like texted Sandy during the live stream oh wow yes. and Sandy she, comes... ca- yeah, she casually comes to my desk and she's like oh we might have him Skype in I'm like what yes, <laughs> yes. So, uh, we've got 45 minutes left in the last live stream Sandy comes up to me she's got her phone and she's like hey Jared uh 
John Rice Davies wants to <laughs> wants to live stream. Is that something we can hey, do? And I'm like, can we, can we do that? Can we get John Rice Davies on the live stream with the last you know during like yeah I'll I'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. And you know that perhaps that's why it's not the only reason, but it's one of the reasons <laughs> things started to kind of go off the, off the off the rails at that last live stream because we were frantically trying to figure out how to get John Rice Davies into the live stream. Which he's mostly known for the entrance to the Indiana Jones ride, right? <laughs> I can't take both of you. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Your, your Sandy voice is definitely going to get you fired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I figured if, if my Chris voice hasn't gotten me fired, my Sandy voice. Will. I think it's impossible for another human to do a Chris voice. Though, oh, yeah. So. I personally feel that I do a, Chris, a good Chris voice, but you. Oh, wait, let me hear it. No, I'm no, no, we're not no, doing this. Doing oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, let's do this, this on stream. This is the last RTV yeah, that's yeah, ever yeah. done. The day they decided to, to do all their. <laughs> now, John Rice Davies is my favorite. He's, he's, he's the one. And I know I'm the Star Wars guy, but. John Rice Davies, Sala. He was my favorite character in Raiders of the Lost Ark. I was so thrilled, and when we got him on there, and I'm dressed as Santa, and I'm getting to talk to John yeah, Rice Davies know. over Skype, and he goes, "Hello, Santa," <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> and then I went on to uh, Netflix and pulled a picture of him as Santa yes. on the slider, oh. and Skyped it to Jack. I was so happy. Uh, so happy. He was a nice guy. Mm-hmm. Really nice mm-hmm. guy. His new show is really good too. Oh, also, what happened this week? With, you know, I, I, every time we do that, what happens this week? I always skip myself. I met Billy Dee Williams again this weekend. Oh, that's right. We all did oh, yeah. again. Big deal. I forgot, it was like a more yeah, low key. Deal. We're yeah. homies at this point. You already met. It was a more low key meeting. Did this he time. remember you? Uh, Billy Dee Williams doesn't remember things. <laughs> he, he, he is a man he's of. He's watching uh, right now. He's, he's a man of tremendous responsibility. Pharmaceuticals. So I don't think he remembers much of anything. You really have well, to be to put up with Jared, though. Yeah. You do. You do. I, was, I mean, you, you can't see this picture, but that's oh, what you know. Oh, so you, you, met, you met Lando. Oh, my Whoa. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was so confused. I thought he was talking about some musician or something. Oh, my God. But I'm glad we're on the same page now. <laughs> no, we will never be on the same page. You just cracked the book. I'm so happy to be here in this moment. I am so happy. This is Christmas for me. I right mean, now. the name doesn't. It sounds like a rock star, kind of. I'm jealous of people that have never met me. Well, I'm seeing the good I'm thing je- is we are getting informed here. It took, on the no, it took, it took me a moment to calculate that statement. We're all learning something. We are all learning something. No, that I reused that. I came up with that earlier this week <laughs> talking to Ben. So. Uh, that was a Ben insult that I repurposed for Justin. Uh, all right, back to the questions, since this is ostensibly the question and answer period. Um, hey, competitive SATA ball racing being broadcast on Twitch. We actually we talked we talked about that in the past. Yeah. Um, I think it just uh, we're not quite there yet, but it's definitely something we've we've looked into doing, and uh, I know. Uh, eventually, we'll replace our Tuesday show, which was Meet the Devs, and we know we want that to be gameplay focused. So mm. that's probably almost certainly something you'll see whenever we get that Tuesday show back off the run. My, up and my broad opinion of whenever you do an esport thing, when, when you go into it saying this is going to be the new sport, nobody cares. Yeah. So yeah. Let, let's do a game that's as good as possible, and if people. I, I have a feeling that if there's an esport that comes out of Star Citizen, it'll be something we don't predict at all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've always seen esports as, as it has to be grassrooted mm-hmm. to, to build mm-hmm. up. Otherwise, you're just you know throwing stuff out there, hoping that it sticks, and it just isn't the same. It's not going to stick. Is is the way to put it. Um, mm-hmm. here, here, this is a question everybody's answering. I don't know that we have an answer to, but it's it's easily the most common question we're getting right now. With two point one just out the door, is two point two still the January patch? We will see. Um, you know, we, we're going to follow the same process. We'll get it up on the PTU as soon as we have a viable in-house build. Um, we'd like that to be sooner than later, but we will see what happens. Um, we're not yeah. going to tell you what to expect from 2.2 just yet. We're still putting it together. Okay, we don't know yet. Yes. <laughs> Soon. Um, no, actually, it was cool. I was looking at the schedules, everybody's calendars this morning, and everybody's in like 2.2 kickoff meetings. It's Less than 24 hours after 2.1 goes out. No. Yes. Uh, although we are also talking about a patch for 2.1 to uh, fix a couple of minor issues, Vanguard stuff. Uh, we'll have more on that when it happens. Mm-hmm. 
Is the Speria Glaive being actively worked on? The NPC version that we are flying right now is in a very sorry state indeed. There are some very unhappy Glaive owners right now. Uh, well, the whole game is being actively worked on. Um, yeah. All the ships are being balanced and edited and bugs with them are being fixed. Uh, if you run into issues with the Glaive, uh, report them to the Issue Council and they'll mm -hmm. be added for stuff for folks to look at. <laughs> Uh, do we have any details yet on the small Corvette? No, uh, other than that it's just called small Corvette. Um, by the way, that's a reference to something I mentioned on Reddit a couple days ago. I think <laughs> I, somebody asked what ships were being concepted. Um, three are you know, absolutely happening, which is the Aspera Prowler, the uh, small Corvette, and the uh, Pirate Interceptor. Um, but no details about any of those just yet. Um, and then we have this whole backlist of others that we want to do, but aren't 100% sure yet. We want to do a smaller mining ship. We want to do a uh, mm. the Drake Dragonfly. Um, so plenty more ships to come. Those three are the ones that are in the pipeline now. So. Is it possible that the Argo shuttle could have a quantum drive? No. No, it does not have because a quantum drive. The Argo is a snub fighter or an ultralight spacecraft. They do not have quantum drives or jump drives. Although, if you guys are Argo fans, um, I was just talking to Aaron yesterday. In fact, I saw the picture from the meeting on Sandy's Facebook. Um, he was saying, you know, oh, we, we might be able to make it hangar ready sooner than later. So if people out there want to play around with it, Argo, let us know. Um, you know get some grassroots Argo support. <laughs> uh, Argo and the, uh, the mining crab, they're thinking, maybe. So we'll <laughs> get out there and... I know, the mining crab is why I pledged. <laughs> Mining crab. I'm around Port Olis Ours. Typically, guys, since we're members of the community team, asking us design questions yeah. might not be the best. We can make up some answers. Though. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I happen to pick the ones I happen to know the answers to, mm -hmm. but uh, I would save the design-related questions for when the designers show up, which should be later on in the show. Or I can just guess. Hey, we'll just let, and there we some, go. Ask some Will questions, yes, too. Will hasn't been involved in the project for some time. Let's ask Will some Star Citizen questions. Do it. Let's do it. Because I was actually about to ask, ha, ha, so have you guys done any really cool browser games? <laughs> I think Vanguard Force was the last one. Okay. Yeah. Remember that one. Uh, I don't know how you follow up about Vanguard Force. Yeah, yeah. We talked about doing Vanguard Force 4 DX Edition or something, and it just never had a bandwidth. Mm. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, have we started working on the Orion? Not working on the Orion yet. I was going to say yes. Hey, Will. I'm over one. What's your favorite ship in Star Citizen? Uh, it's the Cutlass. I, I just like... I'm sorry, it's ugly, but I like that. It looks like <laughs> it's just a bunch of pieces that were found in a junkyard bolted together. Set, to Just put some thrusters on it and let it fly. It's important to remember that Will Lewis does not represent the opinions <laughs> and views of the Caribbean <laughs> games. Who's Billy D. Williams again? <laughs> oh, you meant Lando! <laughs> I mean... Wait, is Lando from Star Wars? <laughs> no, guys. no, no. Star Trek. He, he's the red shirt guy, right? That actually is like close to the conversation we had, believe it or not, Will. But, <laughs> but listen, yes. I'm trying my best. Yes, the, we did have the conversation in, Justin, in, in, in Austin where Justin discovered that Lando was from Star Wars. Well, no, it was more like a flashback, forgot, memory, brought present. I, Chris didn't hear wow. that though. Cause I, That's I don't like a think good way to work around saying you wow. like, didn't know something. It was a flashback, <laughs> forgot, memory, brought, present. I'm write gonna, that down. Gonna, yeah. 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 I like exactly. that. I like that. Was Lando the one on the motorcycle in the new Star Trek trailer? <laughs> <laughs> but I did send you a picture of him on the red carpet um, at the world premiere of Force Awakens. Yes. Yeah, because I did remember. <laughs> you remembered what? To send me a <laughs> he likes like, to was Skype. That on your, was that exactly. on your to-do list? Like, oh, I, was like, I was like, yes, into Jared's heart. Let me send him this picture. By the way, he also person. sent pictures of everybody else on the red carpet. Just one of them was the right one. <laughs> this goes just sitting there like, what is with all these pictures? Is this one Lando? Is this one Lando? Yeah, exactly. And their time's a charm. And then, he, and then he photoshopped himself in the image, and then he met him this week for the second time. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks for having me back. <laughs> uh, why no subscriber bolt this week? Uh, because I forgot. 
We were working on the monthly report. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe we'll get the subscriber vault after you later today. Sorry. Yeah. Subscriber. So, uh, yeah. I didn't even put it on the schedule. You know, that's how, when I did the schedule on Friday, on Monday, you'll notice subscriber vault is not on the schedule because I knew Wednesday's time would be taken up with hey, the monthly I would say that our subscriber vault updates have been much more frequent than they were previously were yes I, I actually did have a nice chat with the folks in the uk yesterday about getting more art in shotgun um oh, and yeah. it was amazing because it was like turning on a tap a shock our shotgun is our internal art collection mm -hmm. thing where people from around the company are supposed to submit things for review and uh we had this meeting yesterday and i was like well you know we're gonna run out of stuff to put in the vault if people aren't submitting to shotgun and they were like oh we should be doing that and like Two hours later, there's like 500 new images in there. <laughs> yeah, shotgun for for people on the outside of Star Citizen is like when you went to Willy Wonka's chocolate factory and you open the doors, <laughs> and like there's the ocean of candy out there. Yeah. That's what shotgun yeah. is. Every new employee who was a backer or a fan before they started, and the, the first like the first two weeks when you walk past the computer, they're just in shotgun, mm -hmm. just looking through shotgun, looking at all the cool stuff that we're making. It's a uh, it's pretty cool. And Chris is just sitting back there eating his cup. <laughs> From Willy Wonka. You should oh, watch that movie once in a while. It has Gene Wilder. <laughs> is that really the selling point? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at the DVD. It, it has Gene Wilder. It's, it's, it's that or he eats it's, a it's, cup. As long as we're not talking about hear no evil, see no evil, Gene Wilder is a selling point in the movie <laughs> for me. Uh, da, 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 da. How far are you with character creation? What is the pipeline like for that? Uh, well, in our November <laughs> anniversary... He actually looked at me for a moment and I was like, all right, I'm going to go with this one. <laughs> now, in our November live stream, uh, we did a whole segment on our character pipeline. Those videos are up on YouTube, so you'll probably want to check that out if you haven't. Uh, other than that... Uh, the PU stuff is coming to customers who coming along. Um, I think we'll hear more about that the next time we get to go out to Austin and interview a bunch of uh, PU folks. Um, P.U. P.U. I know, I know talking with Forrest about this subject last week, uh, he, he was talking a lot about hair. The hair hair is, a, hair is a really tough part of designing oh, yeah. the characters. That's so just wanna, Forrest, though. He, he yeah, yeah for, Forrest has tough time with hair in general. So, no. Uh, but uh, yeah. we got lots of plans for we're figuring out hair and lots of plans for hair and stuff. We want to give you lots of options. I know everybody's like, I want beards and stuff. So we want to make sure it's a, it's a system that's, that's something that we really like. Well, we should use Tress Effects technology from the folks at AMD. 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 I think. Okay. Yes, that was from that press conference. Right. You can only show so many things. A, a, a single show, dude. <laughs> Last week it was Jump White in the in the board game. This week it's Will. It's, you get, yeah. Everybody, buy a I'm, Will I'm, Lewis. I'm, 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 <laughs> Tress Effects. You're eating away at my artistic integrity here. <laughs> well, in fact, those little figures are <laughs> actually me. <laughs> no, no, tre Tress Effects is actually one of our, our in like marriage in jokes. We. we, we Back when we were in Austin, <laughs> we, there was this live stream. Chris went to Hawaii to be part of the Star Citizen part of this live stream for AMD, and it was just not. We, good. we told everybody to watch it, and you know, my backers were all you know gathered around mm -hmm. to see Chris talk about Star Citizen. He had a little video he was going to show or something, and then we sat through like three hours of someone <laughs> talking about hair rendering before I got to Chris. Uh -huh. <laughs> Perfect. And how amazing Tress FX is. Tress FX. Yeah, yeah. yeah. By the way, I saw Chris at the Game Awards. That was really cool. Oh, yeah. Hey, Chris yeah. and Mark uh, were there. That was... Uh... Oh, that's the end of that. That was cool. <laughs> that did happen. He was there. Hey! Yeah, was Remember that throwback to December? <laughs> are you going somewhere with that? I, I forgot December happened, mostly, honestly. <laughs> yes, well, Chris and Mark are people. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. He was on yeah. a magazine I like cover. I hear the ellipsis in your voice when you just... Yes. <laughs> 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 that's like I write. Yes. I Yes. Ben does have the trail off. He I'm leaves sure. you hanging. Or though, sometimes I feel he'll like. start to say, something. you'll be like, oh yeah, and then, and then, like, you'll like look at an email and you're, I'll wait like 30 seconds. And, and he I'm, makes like, it sound gone. so intriguing. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have two visitors. What is, yeah, what's, what's, what's going on? We have a whole yeah, family coming on. Oh, yeah. New people. Mm -hmm. I, okay, well, remember, we don't have mics back here, so. Oh, so come close, come close, come right, close. So uh, here, yeah. Here's <laughs> this is Randy Vasquez, uh, previously a designer, but recently Wait, why promoted. Are you, why is everybody keep trying to steal my thunder? Always stealing my thunder. Two, what were you promoted to, Randy? I'm now associate producer, so I'm helping out the production team on design and engineering. Speak up. Oh my god, okay, so I'm now an associate <laughs> producer. I'm trying to help out with some of the design and production to, to get some of the things moving. Some people, I Everybody, always stealing my thunder. 
Because I knew you know it would be able to hear you because you don't speak oh up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> See, this is why I don't speak to people. You know. Can't work this guy. <laughs> it's, it's a learning curve. <laughs> hey, Denise. Hi, guys. This is your first time on the show? Yes, I was so, invited. So speak up. The mics are way over here. Okay, so, so I'm working in the very vital but boring side of the game. <laughs> Finance legal, but I do love... Star Citizen, of course. We are was that possible to remember the name of the project? <laughs> I, know, right? no, I was like, yes, it's not so, only me. There's just so many entities that we work on, so it's great. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to be here. More fans coming in. This yeah. is like a party. <laughs> what? Me? Yeah. Oh, Quit being so loud. <laughs> Quit having so much fun. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. I'll speak quieter. So We're being scolded by Thomas Hennessy. Yeah, exactly. By the way, I think that's the quintessential image of Thomas Hennessy is coming out of a cave to tell us to have less fun. Because <laughs> he's a grumpy old man. I like seeing him. The, now, now he's laughing. At Do you have a camera on you? Because that should be because yeah. that should be an option. You should have such a camera. On. Yeah, exactly. And he, 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 what are you doing here? What's going on, Hi guys? Uh, I'm working with Sandy on the marketing side, and um, I just uh, dropped back to say hello, a quick hello. Uh, right now, I'm trying to find a venue for CitizenCon. Ooh. Mm -hmm. yeah. have, we, have we said where Citizen, like like what region it's going to be? We've it's said in, that. It's in Los Angeles. General yeah. region. It's Los Angeles oh, this year. So. Hollywood. So, yes. Yeah. So, uh, we'll have an exact date when we have an exact venue, mm -hmm. I imagine. Yeah. Well, CitizenCon is yeah. always the same time, is it? Sometimes we might do it on like a Friday. Oh, that day is yeah. a it's different Friday or Saturday. Forget I said that. Yeah. <laughs> and at some point, the 10th is going to be like a Tuesday, so we'll have to mm -hmm. do an observe or something. <laughs> CitizenCon observed. Citizen observed. <laughs> it's always around the 10th of October. Remembering <laughs> CitizenCon. Mark Haven. Yeah? Come I forward, young man. The Bug Smasher. The Bug Smasher. Check out my new Star Wars ball. Ooh. Nice. Can I borrow it? That's the only reason he had to come forward. <laughs> it's a huge talking point. Oh, yeah. Come forward. What's going on, Mark Haven? Yeah, exactly. Well, I have no idea. Mr. Producer over there said I have to go with him. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. Already yeah. abusing his yeah. power. Yeah. Yeah. He strong. said there was some kind of bug, <laughs> and then now I'm here. Ay, ay, ay. I imagine there's going to be tons of questions. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tons of questions. Uh, actually, is the jukebox not working in the hangar right now? Does anybody know about that? No, no clue. I'm not QA, so there's no reason I would know. See, hey, well, 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 you well somebody's saying. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't I? Actually, you know what? I'm going to get QA. Hold on. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, because. <laughs> Because that's what we need, is more people here. Yeah. I did this see there was so a bug where the fish were disappearing. Wasn't there really that close. bug where the fish was eating the other fish or something like that? <laughs> I saw something on Reddit where they said they picked a new fish and then all their fish were gone. And I'm like, do we have that though? Did the fish no. eat the other no, fish? No, no. I, <laughs> believe it or not, I actually spent Wednesday morning testing the fish. You know, yeah. fish tank. Exactly. I hooked up an account with every variation of the fish. Mm -hmm. we, now have, we now have we have two different fish tanks, but we had three different fish that could only be gotten with the fish tanks. So I was adding them all to make sure that none of them rode over the other ones. Because oh, it, wow. it was a very important thing. I even Dr. Ben, I'm like, hey, can this fish work with this fish? And I'm happy to say that if you have all the fish, they do all show up. I just but. want to see an image with you like this and just as fish, serious business. That's going to, someone's going to send that later today. Yeah, yeah. Fish there. citizen. Absolutely. Fish we need citizen. a new meme. Yeah. When can we expect a video tour of the new studio? Uh, not too distant future. We're actually still building, as you can probably <laughs> yeah. hear around us. Um, they, they, in fact, they we're putting in flooring in the uh, commissary area today. Uh, but once it's done, it's going to look really cool. Uh, yeah. So once our contractors are finished, which should be very, very soon, we'll uh, show you all the cool stuff we're making. Yeah, you may be able to hear them grinding away it's just like a moment yeah. ago. <laughs> all right. And here's Vincent Sinatra, short for Vinny Sinatra. That's the other way that works. Uh, he's our QA here in LA. Perfect. <laughs> uh, what you doing, Vincent? Working, working hard. I've uh, been monitoring the 2.1 feedback, uh, you know, trying to make sure everything's working well. How's it looking? Looking good so far. What's that? I'm sure nobody can hear a word you're saying. <laughs> he said it's good. It looks good so far. <laughs> <laughs> Have people been saying something about like the, all the stuff that's in? Like uh, custom-made feedback? A lot of, lot of Vanguard talk. People are really what? excited. That's in? Yeah, yeah. When, Apparently when, it is. When, I don't know. Somebody <laughs> nobody really told us. Yeah, we just oh, kind of kind of appeared there. Hear you back there. So yeah. That's the mystery. A lot, lot of talk about the Vanguard and its current performance. Uh, of course, nothing is final. But nothing is final in this game. The situation, as always, is fluid. 
<laughs> we're still working on the constellation, so I know there's a lot of talk about that. So that is being worked on. Um, hopefully, it'll fix soon. Mm -hmm. And I know some people have reported that some HUD elements are missing from the cutlass. That's on the list. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. We don't care about the cutlass. <laughs> don't <laughs> start See, I told that. you, it's just a bunch of pieces of metal just don't drilled don't together. Me. You make that joke, but it's my life that gets drawn into it. <laughs> I know, that's joke. why I make that joke. Absolutely. Joke. Absolutely. <laughs> Disco, you deal with it. You go deal with that. You still got hair, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... He almost shaved it rare. off yesterday, he told me, but he got distracted. Yeah, I got into the, I got into the uh, bathroom to shave my head. That's where this started, and I just, I got bored, I got sidetracked. It looks very, what did you get? Very what? Very I, know, I said the same thing, I was like, I was like, don't finish That's that, worse like. than a Ben trail off. Excuse me, why did you want to shave your head? It was hot. It's winter. <laughs> I have a lot of hair, and it's very thick. And I have a big head. My head is enormous. That is true. The that only, is true. The only head bigger yes. is this guy. I remember you, you talking about that, yes. I remember we measured it once yeah, on the yeah, TV yeah. with an Ethernet cable because we're professionals here. Speaking of measuring, have you tested this wallet with the uh, door yet? Yes, it worked this morning. Okay. You did mention us being frugal, so. Yes, yeah, we're all very frugal. <laughs> Use Ethernets to see it. See, Disco, why do you hate us cutlass owners? <laughs> I love the Cutlass owners. I, I already said it. I love the Cutlass. The, did the shipyard post? He doesn't like the Cutlass. Off of the cutlass. As soon as the stream ends, he'll be talking check trash my, about it. Check my Twitter account. My father is text messaging me about his Cutlass. My own father is part of the Cutlass crew, and he's like, "Hey, when my Cutlass spawned on the platform, it bounced and exploded." And he's like, "Did I do something wrong?" I'm like, "No, Dad. It's just a bug." No, that's just how it's supposed to work. We're, we're, we're working on it. My dad is sending me pictures of his Cutlass. He takes pictures of his TV. So yes, no, we we love the Cutlass here. And in fact, the, the new artwork that's going up in our commissary uh, that Jeremiah Lee has been working on has many Cutlasses. And I even remarked, "I'm like, this is a lot of Cutlasses in this artwork." Now you're overdoing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love the Cutlass so much. Of the Cutlass is the Cutlass, and the Cutlass and the Cutlass. Ali like called you. I just think you know enough to know. And At now, what point does it become getting, the Cut Lie? And now I'm getting text messages. Why do you hate the Cutlass? <laughs> Perfect. Keep those up. Why does Jared hate the Cutlass? <laughs> Why does Jared hit the cut? text directly over to Ben <laughs> to make him suffer the way he makes you suffer. Hey, Joyce, I just noticed the, 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 the frills on your jacket. I like that. Isn't it it's fashionable? Like, It'll be for my next after that. It'll be on the cut list. Again. All right. <laughs> Uh, this, uh, for those of you who, terrible segue. Yes, for those of you who yeah, just yeah. joined us, this is Joyce. She's the newest hey. face, so people are asking about her. It's Joyce. Yes, I was actually in a separate office, so now I'm... Here with everyone, I'm so excited to work with everyone and see the development of the game. You used to work in our West Hollywood office, right? Yes. Mm. Yeah. It's illegal and uh, finance and all that are here now, which is great because it means Ortwin's here all the time. It's also terrifying because Ortwin knows whenever we're not in the office. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but we discovered the benefit of having Ortwin here is that we can steal his uh, drone and fly it around the office. Yes. Yes. Oh, Ortwin's like the best, though. He's like the nicest guy yeah. ever. Yeah. And he has style, which... Yeah. Until you wrong him. him. <laughs> You're like, you just haven't seen his bad side. Yeah, until know. Toast Highlanders him and takes his power. <laughs> <laughs> no, always two there, huh? You just, you, you know. You're mushing up nerd stuff. It's not That's good. a movie I haven't seen in a while. I want to watch it again. Uh, while we have some people here who might know, do we know how the Star Fair is going to dock with Port Olazar? I'll take this one. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, some of the, I mean, we're, we're just getting into the really big ships. So something like the Starfarer, we're still sorting out how that'll work both with the hangar, with Port Olisar. Um, I mean, it's just one of the many pieces that we're slowly getting sorted out. I mean, we're just trying to get, you know, the medium-sized ships in the game now with the Connie and the Freelancer. So yeah. it's just iterating and building things out and finding out what actually is going to work long term. Yeah. we got some time. The, we, yeah. the server is going to go into the hangar, then it'll be in the hangar for a while, yeah. and then it'll, before it becomes flight ready. So we have some time to figure that stuff out. It's, uh, prioritization is probably one of the most important <laughs> aspects of game development. Oh, yeah. So. And the hardest study check. We all want the bedroom regimen to be done, but it just doesn't make sense yet. Yeah. Well, and that's also the same because I see a lot of questions about will this variant be ready when the ship is hangar ready? And in, across the board, realistically, no. We're going to get a baseline of the ship set up, hangar ready, flight ready, 
and then we'll start getting all those variants built out, set up, and get those flyable uh, when it's the appropriate time. It's just we, we can't do everything all at once now. There's only so many people, so many days. Yeah. We'd like more people, though. So if you yes. go to the uh, cloudimperiumgames.com uh, hiring area and you yes. are some sort of cryengine genius, we want you. Oh, we're hiring for QA, mm -hmm. uh, designers, for, artists, yeah. all yeah. kinds of stuff. Yeah. All across the board we're hiring. I even got people on our team of hiring. Uh, so if you're a copy editor or a uh, marketing coordinator, marketing coordinator or a marketing artist, uh, yes, you a marketing artist especially. By the way, yeah. if you're a great artist in LA, we uh, we're like a marketing you. artist. Does Orwin know you guys crashed his drone? Wait, yes. Uh, Orwin's office that is right. That was a fantastic right, video, yeah, by the yeah, way. Right behind me is Ben's office and then mm -hmm. Ortwin's office. And not only does Ortwin know we've crashed his drone, we have crashed his drone into Ortwin's office, <laughs> which has glass walls. So he almost certainly knows that we took his drone joyride, joyriding and crashed it. Uh, you could see him can in I that say, video crying in the background. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to like control it. It's it takes some skill. Yeah. But you you came a long way. You were like a pro at the end. Oh no! Except for the, when it like dropped to the ground. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> except for when it crashed. Yeah. <laughs> ship, uh, ship specs page update. Uh, why we just had a meeting with Turbulent yes. yesterday. Yep. About that. That's underway. No ETA yet because yep. it's a lot of data entry and stuff. But yep. uh, it's coming. Yeah. It's in, it's an active development. So after some amazing work by, by Mr. Sherman and his team to rejigger all of our stats and stuff for our ships. Yeah, it's been something I've, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for for months. Uh, it's definitely something that we've needed. Uh, and now as we get closer and closer to bringing out the big component refits, uh, it's just lining up to be the right time to also start working on getting all this information cleaned up for you. So something I look forward to. And what I really look forward to is that after it happens, and everybody goes, the stats on my ship changed. And That's they get the angry best. at me. Everything will change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's like, yes. And I become the meat shield for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. just, just create a thread before. Instagramming us. Oh. Is he Instagramming us? Yes. I don't know if I follow Maybe him. Maybe I should just take that camera and twist it around so you can look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's he going to do? Yeah. What, what's he going to do to me, right? Hey, Ben. Always, always <laughs> I see you, buddy. Hey, Ben, any updates on CCU downgrades? We haven't had that question in a while. Uh, no, but I will check with Turbulent. Uh, next week, we, uh, the, the main Turbulence, uh, Benoit and everybody are coming here head next Head Turbulent. Week. The head Turbulence are coming here next week to basically sit down and answer all of the questions you ask us. So we will know a lot more in a week or yeah. so. Yeah. Um, but basically, our web platform is... So more integrated in with our project than I think I've seen anywhere else. It was it's more integrated than they expected initially. <laughs> yes, sure. So 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 there, there's like like with anything else, there's only a mm -hmm. finite number of resources, and they have to prioritize the things that they work on. So mm -hmm. it's it's something that's on the list, but it, it may not always be the most pressing thing. Uh, da -da. Somebody talking about the bend dance? The bend dance. Uh, that, that's not a question. <laughs> I think we should do a dance off with the bend dance. Ben wins. Then, there's yeah, no, there's no win. reason. True. <laughs> Justin's like, damn. <laughs> you just uh, want to dance, yeah, don't yeah. you? I do. All right, knock off the microphones. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no progress on hangar loaners yet. Ha loaners are still just for flyable ships. Uh, it's just something we're going to investigate, but no promises. We're going to try really hard to do that, at least for the Starfarer Gemini, because I think the cool thing about the Starfarer when it gets hangar ready is going to be exploring yeah. this giant ship. Yeah. And we'd like everybody to have that feeling. Yes. Do, 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 or maybe you can just hijack one. Will Snoop Dogg have a voice role in the game? Please. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I have anything to Stretch say. Stretch yeah. <laughs> Well, he's an old friend of Chris Roberts. I think they hang out a lot. So. <laughs> I've actually uh, met Snoop Dogg twice. Did one time you get a photo from Justin? No, but I, I, my, <laughs> oh. my signature is in his bathroom. Oh, you signed his bathroom? I signed his bathroom. One time at E3, I couldn't go to the bathroom because of Snoop Dogg. His security guards blocked off the restroom, and I was like, what the hell is going on? And then Snoop Dogg walks out, and he's like, okay, you can go now. We have two very different Snoop Dogs. We That's really like do. Snoop Dogg is a constant bathroom. Bathroom. Yeah, exactly. That's like so yeah. I think you have a Snoop Dogg experience, and you have a Snoop Dogg security detail experience. <laughs> Vastly different. Yeah, exactly. we, we worked on a, I worked on a music video of his for a UK, the UK version of MTV. 
Oh. And we were doing the mixing at his home studio for it because they only do live music videos. So he had to perform it live and we had to mix it live. And Snoop Dogg is this thing where anybody that works on any of his music gets to sign the wall in his oh. per personal studio. And because I wasn't necessarily important, I got to sign in the bathroom. <laughs> So my signature's in his bathroom. Good job. Now when you mix music, is that when you congeal two parts of the music? We congeal the music. <laughs> That's the technical term, actually. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, from Disco's Greener Days. That's a true story. Nice. It's interesting uh, that Snoop is apparently a constant presence in all of our lives. Though. Yeah. Well, did, you, did you see the art? There was an article yesterday. He posted some video bitching about Xbox Live yeah, servers. Yeah, I saw that. Xbox, fix your shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Should we should give him uh, an Aurora or something. People are going to think right. that he's actually an old friend of Chris Roberts now. <laughs> the story is snowballing. To the yeah, best yeah, of exactly. my knowledge, Snoop Dogg is not up. an old friend yeah, of Chris yeah. Roberts. Possibly he is? Allegedly. 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 <laughs> Please, ask that question in temp for the chairman so we can all find out. Because there's no way any of us <laughs> Tell are Tell us Chris about Roberts. your Snoop Dogg history. Could you imagine yeah. Chris Roberts can like, drop yeah. lyrics like that? Like, <laughs> he d he just doesn't like in front of people. Like yeah. he's got a studio in his office and just. <laughs> when he gets I'm stressed. serious. If you're just joining us, Reverse yeah. Reverse is the Cloud Imperium <laughs> Games community team's weekly informal live stream with the fan. It's June 21st it's and we're still. It's <laughs> June 21st. <laughs> uh, da -da. Let's see something about crabs. Crab. What? It wasn't a really question. Just not, a oh, is, is there still like that crab group around? Like where they praise the high crab or whatever yes. it was? Yes. The god crab? Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. the best. Yeah. 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 No. That's how amazing he is that I remember him. No. Why did you no. did you face off against the crab and lose? No. Bye, Joyce. Bye. Bye. People who actually have work to do. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a nice day. Bye, Vincent. For, for Bye, me, this is People work. who pretend they I'm actually excited. have work to do. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent just shared a finger with me. I'll let you imagine which one. Uh, so, what do you... Uh, Hey guys. But we can kind of hey, a uh, less uh, so less good. supper vibe at this point, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Have you noticed that? Yes, which makes you. Oh my god. <laughs> which basically makes you Jesus and me Judas. And, uh, which one am I? That oh, explains a lot. You know what? I need to look at the picture well, to see. <laughs> but Judas is the one betraying Jesus, and Ben's the one throwing you under the bus with cutlass owners. So. Well, why do you think he did it? Jesus threw Jesus under the bus with with. Yeah, he put the swords. Away. <laughs> Somebody check him for. Back. Are you are yeah, you theology. confirming a this is silver cutlass with... skin? <laughs> I'm just trying to say you're more Jesus than Ben. The last we should yeah. get a Photoshop picture. Yeah. Photoshop. I just yeah. want to say you're more Jesus than Ben. Yeah. You got the, that Jesus. That is a phrase eyes. that's never been said in human history. <laughs> uh, can you do a homage to David Bowie's Stardust in the game? I feel like it would be Space Oddity if we... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which, by the way, would be an incredible duet, by the way. This is, like, your favorite talking point. Yeah, I like this talking point. It also could be, like, if you did a ship skin with the, with the Ziggy Stardust. That would be pretty yeah. cool. Yes. Ship security. Ship security will come. Right now, it's a little Grand Theft Star Citizen. But that's because so there's no persistence. We, we were talking that those are by far my favorite Reddit threads right now. Like yeah. somebody stole, and then yes. I saw one just yesterday of I forget what ship it was, but it was the guy who was trapped in there just looking up at him. And he's like, "Please <laughs> let me out!" Like yes, you broke, I got you stuck in the exactly. Yeah, he glitched into it. Yeah, I, actually yeah. got, I actually got stuck in a Vanguard bathroom last night. Always like, whenever you get in your multi crew ship. Always yeah, well, I, I, I was I was I was fine until he, it, it, when, when they went into Quantum. Suddenly, I lost the use prompt on my on the bathroom door. So I was stuck in the bathroom for like six minutes. <laughs> I feel like I've heard more bathroom stories in my whole life. Right this hour. Yeah, there's, actually, there's, yeah, there's been a lot of bathroom, bathroom it, stories. So you want another true story? Do you have a yes. Yes. Bathroom no, bathroom Another true story. story. I once peed next to Bob Euchre. <clears throat> Bob Euchre, the dad from <laughs> okay, Mr. Belvedere. Okay. <laughs> What's that? The dad from Mr. Belvedere, the sports announcer from oh. the Major League and whatnot. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Yep. I once peed next to Bob Euchre. Wait, I think he's in the WWE Hall of Fame, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's in the WWE Hall of Fame. Did you hear? You know oh, thing that's where a you conversation know, you have for men's later. And you go in one, yeah, yeah. and men's rule is that if, the there's, if, there's, yeah, if there's extras, oh, you're supposed oh, to put a space. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, Bob Euchre ignored oh, that. Oh, he doesn't care? Took the one right next to me, at which point I clinch off. I can't do anything yeah, yeah. anymore. And just and stares I, I can at hear him eyes. going. I'm just staring at him. I'm like, please leave, please leave, please leave. And at the end, he puts his hand on my shoulder. 
and says, now you can tell everybody you peed next to Bob Euchre. <laughs> nice. And that was and, 1995. And, and I have been telling that story every chance I get since 1995 because Bob Euchre told me to tell people. And when he wow. dies, I need PTO. I'm going to his funeral, and I'm telling every person at that funeral. You get five weeks. So how did you and know? you're peeing in his casket. <laughs> how did you know? <laughs> yeah. The takeaway from that story is Jared suffers from stage fright. <laughs> <laughs> I had to stop. I just uh... Don't challenge me to bathroom stories, son. I'm just saying. I, I mean, stories. you're the king of bathroom stories. Amazing bathroom stories. Bathroom stories. Bathroom stories. Bathroom stories. Bathroom stories. Bathroom stories. We had a bathroom story that involved Star Citizen, but it's too disgusting to oh, share. No, don't tell oh, that story. <laughs> Wait, I want to know this story, no, but no, not no. But off the I'll air. Tell you that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a terrible story. That's a terrible, oh, yeah. terrible story. Like, I don't have any bathroom stories. Not every ship needs a bathroom. Not every ship needs a living. I think we should move along from bathrooms now. And that's been bathroom talk on our entire hour. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. another thing that we wanted to stay away from in the beginning. <laughs> right? Yeah, we just came back to it. It was, I, it was just straight. It was destiny. It was meant to hey, be. Hey, Vincent, yeah. since yes. you're here, why don't you, why don't you, can you talk about some of the, the hot button issues that we've discovered? <laughs> Two point one things. People are, a lot of these questions are, do you know about this? Do you know about this? Do you know about this? What do uh, we know about? Any what, specifics? No, because I've been ignoring them. Oh, you've been yeah. ignoring them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, obviously, you know, like I said, people are flipping out over the Vanguard uh, and its current performance. Not final, yeah. of course. Right. Uh, it's not quite operating up to specs as we wish it. Um, that's probably number one on the agenda for 2.1. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, people love the big guns, but they want to be able to swap them out. Yeah. And uh, it's performing a little too tight uh, when it comes to maneuverability right now. So you know that'll probably be parred down a little bit. Um, so issue with the shields, I think? The shields yes. and the hull issue is definitely something we're looking into. Yeah. Uh, it's a little squishy at the moment. Yeah. Well, e even with that, um, so the Vanguard was, is really one of our first ships that was built ground up with the new component refit system that's coming out soon in mind. The unfortunate side effect of that is not everything needed for the shields to work as intended is fully set up. So once that's all set up, it should pick right back up and get closer to where it should be. Um, like it has its six shield generators installed. It's just they're not all playing nice together. Um, but that, that should definitely be getting cleaned up, hopefully in the near future, as more of this component stuff rolls out. Yeah. So basically, it's kind of, it exists um, in a different way than the other ships. So a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. So once we convert everything over, once we get the Hornet and everything else to the new, to the new system, it'll all yeah. even out some more. Yeah, like once that all rolls out, there's that whole first month or so of this new component system, I'm expecting a lot of balance threads to pop up from it. So. <laughs> What's well, an easy prediction to make at any time? I know. Oh, no, no, no. Like, Talk about taking the safe bet. Well, no, no. There's like the, the typical balance threads, and then the every ship will have two or three different balance threads mm -hmm. about it when all this stuff happens. So it's, I mean, it's a giant set of sweeping changes. So. Well, if people want to get heard, um, we got our, you know, let's talk about spaceships section on the We're forums. We got a whole bunch of threads set up to get specific feedback on specific specific ships. Issue council. On an issue council as well. Um, but, you know, let us know. I'm Mayo Fumato on the boards. So, you know, yes. give me a shout. Hmm. Has Randy stopped working on the cat? So, I have actually stopped working on the cat. <laughs> I know. I switched over to production, but I'm still definitely talking with Elwin, I'm talking with Kirk, and I'm making sure that all the designs and everything are situated and pushed over, so... Oh, that one's I'm working still... out. That's better than... Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you're out. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes. Uh, we're still helping out. The plan's in a very good place, yeah. yes. so we're going to be able to start running with that once we, we get it to a point where it's, let's start building this for the yeah. hangar. It's planned out really well. So all the caterpillar threads I've been just pouring through for the past couple of weeks and making sure that those are all in the design documents, so that way when you know whoever takes it over from me, from Kirk, um, they're basically going to know exactly what modules need to be done, how the modules need to be set, all the metrics are set up. Um, I've been talking with everybody from like the FPS guys over to um, <clears throat> like you know because Bender's working on some of the FPS metrics and then he's working on the animations as well as like Elwin and his team what they need to have to build the ship out to make sure that it is the module caterpillar that it needs to be because that ship is awesome I love that ship <laughs> well we're out of time so all right well, so leave so good <laughs> <laughs> thank you Randy see you guys thank you thank you Mark thank you Vinny Thank you. Uh, not, not Sherman. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
You give him that salute he got earlier. <laughs> hey, that's the same finger. <laughs> well, guys, that about wraps up this week's Reverse the Verse. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little informal. It's mm-hmm. a little... Uh, I thought this was a good one. A good Honestly, one. we had a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. There's the bathroom yep. talk. We do a lot of video content every week, and and we, we take this is the one where we take the to blow off some steam and to yeah, relax and hang out with the fans. Take our clothes off. So we hope you enjoyed as much as we do. <laughs> if you're super into VR or just fun back. games or Will Lewis in general, yeah, yeah. check out World War Tunes. Yeah, yeah like I said, man. I'm gonna be. Oh yeah, yeah. World War Tunes. <laughs> yep. Um, if you're going to Pack South, stop by, say hi. And then if you're not going to Pack South, uh, check out World War Tunes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, check out World War Tunes. We're about to revamp the website, and I think next week we're going to start streaming uh, exactly the same time as it. No. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, we're, uh, I'll be streaming a lot more. We're about to move into a new office as well. So, nice. yeah. I kind of want to go to PAX out. It'll be my first PAX. I'm actually really, really excited. Take some PTO and go to PAX out? No. No, no, just, <laughs> just those five weeks that you have. What would we do without you? Be Are you happy. saying the Family Ties team? <laughs> what? Uh, what we do? We do? <laughs> and then uh, thanks again for you guys having me on. Uh, and thanks to Anytime. everybody. Um, we, I went to TwitchCon and three people wanted to take pictures with me because of Star Citizen, and that was awesome. <laughs> it's so, so weird. Yeah, I love it. I, I I I love it so much. So thank you. And then those of you guys on Reddit, be sure to keep posting because even though I'm not here, I still check it out every week. I, I love your ridiculousness. So. <laughs> All right, so that's the show this week. That's Will Lewis, community yeah. manager for World War Tunes, Reload Studios, Alexis Lesnick, subscription manager, Star Citizen, Ben Lesnick, director of spaceships, community engagement, online strategy, and master of disaster. Ka-chow! Well, that's right, we we're going to have sounds this week. Oh, we were I supposed forgot. to. Next just, week. just stop the show, Hennessy. <laughs> just week. kill just it. Sounds. Start all over. No, I'm done. We, I just, can create we my own. Have-